Hello, my name is Timothy Snyder. I'm a historian. It's an honor to be speaking to you today as a historian speaking to people who are at the middle of history right now, uh, as a product of public schools myself, speaking to public school teachers. Very happy, very proud to be with you. Uh, I'm also speaking to you as a colleague. You might be able to see over my shoulder a pile of books about Ukraine. I'm setting up my lesson plans for a class on modern Ukraine uh, this fall that I'll be teaching to my own students. Ukraine is very much on my mind in much the same way that America is on my mind. After all, in Ukraine, we have an example of a tyrant, a Russian tyrant, trying to overthrow an elected government by force. It's very much like January 6th in our country, just on a much larger scale. In both cases, the violence is based on a big lie. The attempt to destroy democracy is based on a big lie. Putin says that Ukraine doesn't really exist. Trump and his allies say that he won the election of 2020. Either way, it's a big lie. So Ukraine's on my mind. I'm in Europe now. I teach European history. I, I, I have a lot of friends and, and colleagues in Ukraine. So I care about it. But of course, we should care about all the displaced teachers and students in Ukraine. We should care about all the working people in Ukraine who are the ones doing the fighting. And we should care because democracies rise and fall together. Our democracy, like any other democracy, is, is vulnerable. It depends upon us, ultimately. It depends upon representation, depends upon law, depends on good faith, but ultimately it depends on us. Representation means we should all have the right to vote. Law means that when we vote, it should make a difference. Good faith means that those who we elect should play by the rules. We're in a situation now where some of the people we've elected haven't played by the rules and other though, others of them are trying to change the rules. As teachers, we're in a situation where some of our politicians are making it very hard for us to tell the truth about the past. And of course, democracy needs the truth about the past. Democracy is all about self-correction. And you can't correct yourself unless you know what came first. 2020 was the beginning of all this. 2024 could be the end, but right now we're in the middle. We're in a situation where people are using the big lie to make it much harder to vote. We're in a situation where people are running for office on the basis of a big lie. And all of this means that this November, there's an election which we as Americans simply cannot afford to lose. This November is an election about elections. It's an election about whether we will be represented, whether our elected representatives will make law, whether this can ever be a country which operates again in good faith. Who can do something about this? We can. And in particular, you can. In, in my part of the world, the part of the world I work on in Eastern Europe, we call those organizations between the government and the people civil society. Tyrannies emerge when a government can treat each of us individually. But organizations like unions create groups of us, layers of us, between the government and the lonely individual. Unions historically defend the interests of groups and create groups. Unions historically defend voting and the right to vote. Unions work within the law and work to improve the law. Unions bring people together, people who might come from different places or hold different creeds or represent different backgrounds or belong to different races. We need this now. We need this more than ever. In a country which could lose its democracy to a lie, in, in, a play, in, in, in a time when the internet and media technology makes it very hard for us to contact one another, unions are one of the few places where we can organize as people. Unions are one of the few places where we can talk to one another as real people. 
This means that organizers right now are at the middle of history and teachers too in particular are at the middle of history because without the teachers, we don't have the effort to get at the truth. Randy and I have been in touch the last couple of years because of a little book that I wrote called On Tyranny. The very first lesson in that book is called Do Not Obey in Advance. The people who want to bring democracy to an end in this country expect that we will just go along. If we show that we will not just go along, then we have a chance. We have to do this in November and we have to do it in the years to come. Thank you very much.